Mario, Peach, and Bowser had scaled the tree and defeated Dementio. The exhausted heroes were relieved to finally see the ivory towers of Fort Francis. Was Tippy safe? Was the next pure heart really waiting for them ahead? Their only answers were the strange voices carried on the wind and from inside the fort. What are those voices saying? Find out this time in Chapter 3, 4, The Battle of Fort Francis. So, this is where that dweeb Francis lives? <laughs> That's a great start to this chapter. <laughs> What's this castle got over mine? Do you think Tippy is alright? I'm starting to worry. <laughs> he just nods. He's like, yes, I, I recognize that you are worried. Also, that's a <laughs> he's rocking the DSLR right there. <laughs> this is so high technical. It's a totally undiscovered Digibutter species, nerr. I must document it. Mario. Yes, shake that thorax. The Digibutter.nerr forum guys will be so jealous when I post these shots online. I'm suddenly questioning what the contents of Digibutter.nerr are. And I know that site actually exists, so I'm not questioning the contents of the real site. Just, well, actually, this this kind of voice <laughs> exemplifies my question right here. No entry unless you are a super genius like me or a totally hot babe. Stay out. Man, this guy's like <laughs> the epitome of nerds. What did I just jump? Do you see that? I just, I walked into it. I don't even need to flip for this one. That's new. Okay. Let's go down this weird pipe and while I do that hello everyone and welcome to uh pal plays super paper mario last time what did we do oh yeah I was a doofus and I missed literally every clue of the level design and forgot where I came from and where I went where did I come from where to go you know what I'm not going to quote that let's continue on because I got I got a key yeah I got the key let's go in here man this <laughs> <laughs> this is this this place is like the dream of every every nerd. Oh, oh, you're not. Oh, you're not an enemy. Oh, hi. Who? Wh what are you? Welcome home, master. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> you do your thing. I'll, wait, is that a, that's a fake door? I think. Maybe. Where did? Wait a minute. That's that's weird. You saw that. There's a, a thing behind the door, but the door's real. That's new. Oh, man. This guy's, like, pulling out all the stops of level design. Which makes sense, because most of, most of the good Mario levels I see are on uh, Mario Maker. Oh, these are enemies! Those are enemies! Okay, they, they dodged me. That's not fun. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. These things are nasty. Come on. Nice. Just kind of stall in the air. Good. Ow! I don't want to die. I'm not going to die. Hui! I did it. Um, hmm. I mean, we could go over there, but let's go through this pipe first, because... Oh, we can't go through it. Okay. So, this place is looking to be kind of a maze. Not like Merle's Mansion. That place wasn't really a maze. That was just kind of... evil. For Francis's eyes only, room on right... Room on the right is 2323. Room on the left, 2828. Okay. Okay, left is, t left is 28, right is 23. Left 28, right 23. That's weird. Uh, oh, it's a pixel! That I, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's, let's do some overkill here. Yes, we could use uh, our normal Thudley, but it's only fun if you use Bowser, too. Because he's totally fat, and his weight should be enough. Freedom! Oh, finally, I'm out, dude. I didn't know what I was gonna do, man. Thank you, thank you. I've been shut up in here forever. You'll never catch me in there again. I must repay you. I'm at your service. I'm sure you can find a way, a use for my talent. Hold on a second. Before we get all friendly, we should see if we're on the same page. You met Francis, right? What do you think of the guy? Your first impression? 
<laughs> He's kind of greenish. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Anything else about him catch your eye? Um, he's irresistible? What? No, he's into butterflies. Oh, I yes, I see how you'd think of that. So, to sum it up, what do you think about him? He's a monster, he's a technique, he's a stallion. <laughs> coming from Bowser. Coming from Bowser, that's questionable. Um, tech geek. Like, what would Bowser say about him? Because I'm trying to be in character. I guess he's a tech geek. So, do you think of Fran Francis as a greenest butterfly fanatic? He's basically a tech geek. Yeah, that, that about sums it up. Well, imagine that. You and I feel the same way about him. We've got great harmony. Yeah, I think we'll work perfectly. Together, nothing can touch us, man. Just open your mind, bro. Carry the hover platform pixel. Just join your party, man. When you're riding her, you move faster and can breeze over spikes and stuff. With me, you can get places in a hurry. Go ahead, give me a spin, man. Okay, uh, I actually remember this pixel. Yeah! This pixel allows Bowser to move quickly. And if you think about how Bowser naturally does more damage than, uh, the other party members, this, this pixel actually makes him really good. Also, don't think I don't see that. I see that. What, what is that? Aha! It's a secret pipe! Man, there- this place is full of secrets! It's kind of crazy! Or, wait, no, never mind. That's where I came from. I'm still on dirt mode from last episode, I guess. Um, let's go through here? Now that we have Carrie, in fact, let me go switch back to Bowser, because, like I said, it allows me to do a lot more damage, because Bowser just does more damage. So... Oh, you I forget, you guys are friends. Hey, hello. Welcome home, Master. A baseball game in extra innings has been delayed, uh, has delayed the start of Starship x Not. I adjusted the re record of Meow start time by 30 minutes to compensate. Alrighty. Uh, let's just continue on with my totally sick ride. Like, this is what hoverboards are made to be. And what is this thing? Sweetness! Aha! Sweet! The resolution on these images is just breathtaking. Okay, so he's he's in there, no question about that. And it looks like we need two keys to get in there. Awesome. But yeah, th this new pixel, man, I'm I'm actually pretty hyped because it allowed me to deal damage. You see how mobile I am with this thing? You don't even know. Here, I've cataloged all the master's comics and filed them away. Do not think I did it out of kindness of my uh, robot heart. They were beginning to clog my vital firescaper routes from the castle. Okay. Looks like there's no love lost with this robot. What is here? Aha! Platforms. And what is that? Oh, they're chandeliers! Cool. Really? Really? That's just jerkish. That's really jerkish. Okay, let's see if we can avoid more of those things. Flip back into 3D here. And just go through the store before uh, I have to deal with the... The, uh... There's no pun in there. Uh, the, the cat bombs. Let's not have to deal with the cat bombs. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Hello. Hello. Oh, more. 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 And I took damage. Uh, let's switch over to Bowser here. And see what there is to see. Hiya! Hiya! Nice, 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 nice. And I can do fire while on carry. That's nice. This thing is so good. Also, notice how I insta-pop them there. And, uh, I couldn't do that with Mario. So, it's definitely more powerful. That's weird. Uh, what is that? Uh, quiet in the hallway. Stomping disturbs Master's nap time. Uh, it also seems to be the, the trick for this. I switch over to Thudley here. And crash, boom, bang. The door falls down. Because that's how physics work. Uh, sometimes if you, you'll see that your, your door in real life is just tied to the ceiling. You need to knock it down so you can get through. Okay, uh, let's switch over to Mario here, because there's obviously a platform right there. That we can't do anything about, okay! Or can we? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do we need Peach here? Aw, oh, man. Let's jump up here before it- Ah! Uh, I just jumped up there, why is that so hard? And jump! There we go. Now let's switch over to Peach. And jump! Oh boy. 
Nice. Uh, let's switch over to Mario again. Flip. And we can just get right up. Now, before we do anything else, I would like to see how much uh, healage I have. I have a Daisy's tier, which I'm going to use now. Because I need the health. And then, what else? Fire burst, lightning, sleepy sheep. Okay, so I have no healing items. So this is, this is imperative for me to keep in mind. For now, though, I'm just going to avoid that enemy because that is undue peril that I don't need to risk my my uh, life and limb on. And let's just continue on. And while that happens, uh, let's see. How do we how do we grab that? Um, flip? No. We need to hit that. Throw wouldn't. Oh wait 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 a minute wait a minute. The good old early game, but still viable. Combo of throw. And boomer. Oh yeah. Nice. So oh, it didn't work. Uh, will these work? Yeah, that'll work, I guess. Hoi! Hoi! Huzza! Got it. And while this happens, since I mean Francis kind of broke the ice talking about how he's catching butterflies, I guess I should talk about Pokemon Go and how I have not played it because I know for a fact that one of you has probably already thought about or already done. Did ask me. Did I really just do that? Ask me if I have played it, or if I am, am playing it now, and no, I'm actually kind of staying away from it, because I don't need uh, another addiction in my life, and Pokemon is just that. I like the games, but I don't, I don't want a scenario where Pokemon are distracting me in real life. That just, uh, I'm, I feel like it, it's going too far. I'm not saying it's bad, in fact, it's really good that Nintendo ha is branching you're not an enemy, is branching out, but it's it's just not for me. You have reached the door of uh, door to master's private room. For security purposes, you must confirm your identity. Answer the following security questions with either true or false. Video game soundtracks are totally high technical. Okay, this one from the bottom of my heart, it's true. I listen to them more than I do um, mainstream music, so yes, they're good. Episode 127 of the Grotus Chronicles is pretty much the sweetest thing ever. Sure, I have no clue what that is, but okay. One day I will own all of the Starship x Not Series 3 co collectible action figures. Yes, I definitely will. Like, that, that's not even a question. That's just a statement. Uh, left is 28, right is 23. 23. Yes? Meow, meow, meow. You are not the master. Deploy security. Ma man, I, I gave it my best shot, man. Okay, uh, I guess... Where's this gonna drop me? <laughs> where's this drop? Oh, it, it's a new area. Okay, so I won't I won't cut away just yet. Um, what did that... <laughs> what did that do? Can we kill this? Let's just kill that. Booyah! Nice. Alright, um... Oh, I, I see what we need to do. I, I need to switch tomorrow. Uh, throw. Grab you. Do that. Switch back to Bowser because I like him. Switch back to Carrie because Carrie and Bowser, I'll ship it. And go through the pipe once it shows up. If it'll show up. There we go. Man, you'd think that Bowser would be heavy enough to uh, weigh that down on his own. Alright, let's just go through here and see. Uh, I believe that the password was 2828. Oh, that's where it drops us. Uh, but I will meet you guys back there to confirm that theory. Yes, they are totally high technical. Yes, the Grotus Chronicles are the best. And yes, I will get all the geeky figurines. The passcode is, because I actually, I made a mistake. I thought that this was indeed the right door because I kind of headed right to get to it. But back in the room where we had to gr uh, ground pound in order to get the, uh, the door down from the ceiling, uh, there were actually two doors, and I didn't realize that. So this is indeed the left path, even though I headed right to get to it. So, the password for this is indeed 2828. Welcome home, Master. M uh, Security Mao missed you. Whoa. Okay. Um. Hello, command prompt slash DOS. Cats. <laughs> meow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is definitely a nerd's house. Because it has cats in it. <gasps> yes! I needed that. You're, you're not an enemy? Oh, you are. That's mean. I 
I can't tell if you're enemies, man. That's not fun. Also, it's the Yoshis from, uh, from the, the other Paper Mario. Um, how, how I get up. Do I jump? I jump. There we go. Man, there's the Yoshis. There are eggs. There's, uh, it looks like a poison mushroom. There's the, uh, oh man, it's the, the slug things from Thousand Year, is that Thousand Year Door? Yeah, I believe it is. Man, memories, even though I've never played those games. Uh, you got one of the one of the keys. Yay! Fire flower. I don't recognize those boos. Also, I'm I'm just being stupid. Um. Yeah, I don't really recognize anything else. Oh wait, wait, wait. I could check the wall though, right? Yeah, I could. Uber photography, trains. <laughs> Uber photography, toys. Uber photography, pop idols. Unofficial guidebook of secret boss shattering strategies. Give your speed runs a nitro boost with these game-breaking secrets. Okay, this is this is a nice added touch because it feels like uh, Luigi's Mansion where you're reading the the volumes out of the out of the bookcase, and that was it's one of my favorite details in the game. So I mean, I I'm a fan of this. Android Love Patrol Volume One, Android Love Patrol Volume One Collector's Edition, Android Love Patrol Volume One Collector's Edition reissue. Also, he has a picture of Peach. Okay. Uh, you know, the saying goes, the, the way to a nerd's heart is through, um, through any girl. They don't have to be cute. Or cats, actually. Cats also work. Or, um, anime. That works, too. Or a Pokemon Go. <laughs> or... You know, I'm pretty much, at this point, I'm kind of listing everything in this castle. So, if you want to know how to get to a nerd's heart, well, first of all, you shouldn't wonder, because, like, it's pretty easy. And second of all, just just watch this episode. It's pretty educational, um, for d dating purposes. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this door, and let's see, there's the other door... Yeah, there's the other door, which I'm I'm really specific. I, I pride myself on my specificity. <laughs> Let's just pound the door. And I'm actually gonna switch to Bowser because I Bowser carry. Like I said, Bowser carry. He carries the team. They carry. You know what I mean? They 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 carry the team together. All right. Let's use carry and float. Yay. Go through here. And let's see, what, what other horrors will this place bring? What other nerdum things? Alright, this uh, the, uh, the password is 2323, so really the only thing that I'll have to uh, sweat the details on are these answers, because the, the the questions are so difficult. You have reached the lore, the door to the master's se super secret lair. Only master is allowed inside. You must confirm your identity for sec security purposes. To confirm your identity, answer true or false to the following statements. Starship x Not comics are never to be removed from their plastic sleeves. Um, remove Starship x Not and put in magic cards, and I agree. Role-playing games should, uh, should be no less than 180 hours long, not c counting side quests. Yeah, that's actually real. Well, actually, no. Because Earthbound's good, and it doesn't really have any side... Sure, sure. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that they meant Japanese RPGs. Um, fanny packs are both practical and stylish. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually really curious. Oh man, the fan- the Master's Fantasy Fortress. Oh boy. Um, I'm actually kind of wondering what the Japanese translation of this is, because Japanese nerds are different from American nerds. They really are. Also, who has their super secret fantasy fortress room? Upstairs, usually wouldn't that be in the basement? I guess is this his mother's house? I don't know. I'm I'm sweating the details. Let's see posters of more that slug again, and let's see nothing else. Um, he has game systems, but nothing. He, oh man, he has a he has an oldie like Apple Tower right there. Okay, that's that's a nice detail. Um. Must buy this month. XS Express train set. Miss Mouse doll with real smooching action. 
Survival Horror Romance Sim, Larry Koopa, Zombie Heart Breaker, Magnus Vaughn Grapple Figure, Tanuki Suit Made with Real Tanuki Fur, Harder Than Bedrock, okay, that's that's a nice throwback to Thousand Year Door, uh, The Rock Hawk Story DVD, Issue 47 of Cyborg Wart, and that radio controlled Professor Frankly, and a lot of more sweet stuff. Definitely a nerd. Um, ugh! Oh man, he has a Virtual Boy and a GameCube! And what is that in the left corner there? Is that a tank? I don't actually know. Let's get off carry and get this chest. We got the last key! Sweet, let's let's leave. Man, the details in here are really nice. But I'm I'm still wondering, what what are the, the localization differences? Because the localization team obviously looked <laughs> Man, that's actually kind of scary. They, they had to think about what nerds are and how best to uh, make nerds feel self-conscious with this level. But also, like, did the, did the Japanese thing, was that, I'm stuttering, was the Japanese thing like the exact same but in Japanese or did they have something completely different? I don't know, maybe even the enemies were different. I don't know. Normally, see, if I were Chugga Conroy, I'd be like, these are the differences, and I'd throw in a couple key puns in there, but no, I'm actually wondering, because I have not played this game before. Alright, we got both keys, let's go back through this door, and we can just enter in the code, right, or the, the keys, right? I, I believe so, I don't remember there being any other hitches, um, I'm gonna use that for a key. Key accepted, meow, and key accepted. Nice. Meow! Both keys confirmed. Meow! Wait a meow moment. You look nothing like Master. Only Master Francis and totally hot babes are allowed to enter. All others will get the kitty lasers. What am I supposed to... What am I supposed to do about the kitty lasers? What am, what am I supposed to do about kitty lasers? I don't know how to do kitty lasers. Ooh. Jump! It... Master Francis, what? Oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it. Totally hot babes. He had a picture of Peach, right? Don't kill the, don't kill the woman. I mean, I don't know how attractive Peach is, but, I mean, she's kind of, actually, no, never mind. In, in the role-playing game, she's not as, uh, as dumb. Ditsy, is that a word I'm allowed to say? I don't know. You can enter after I check to see if you're compatible with For Master Francis, that is. I mean, <laughs> is she a girl? Yeah? I, I think the answer is yes, then. Video games and hot babes are totally high technical. True. Okay. If it's limited edition, buy it. That's very true. That's how I got my copy of Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. I have bought games that I have never played. Also true, actually. If it's got f Fierce Giant Robot on Giant Robot Combat, it's an insta-buy. Sure. Sure. They're not dolls, they're action figures, with real fire-punching action. That's, yes. I have dumped a friend over an argument about Starship x Not propulsion technology. Every day. I, I, I'm friendless. That's why I don't have any friends, is because of that. A sweet cover illustration is way more important than the storyline? For a magic card? Okay. I, I'm, I'm a fan of both. Never pull the top copy from a pile of comics. Find the mint condition with yes. My first love was an anime character. Does Tharja from Fire Emblem really count as an anime character? Yeah, I guess it's Fire Emblem Awakening, so sure. I love going on message boards and complaining about games I've never played. Most of the Five Nights at Freddy's hater community in a nutshell, and also Undertale. Meow! <laughs> Though it is excessive. Like, there's this kind of crowd thing going on where Every single popular indie game that comes out, there are two camps, those who, who love it to tears and will not hear any hate against it, and those who are the exact opposite. And it, it's excessive. Nurr, who are you? Hey, what are you doing sneaking in my room, huh? Ever heard of p p p privacy? Oh, there you are, Francis. I've been looking all over for you. For me? Can I just point out that he has his glasses tied to the back of his head like a ninja? Like, headband, veil, whatever it's called. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a hot babe. 
Hot babe in room! <laughs> what do I do? I, oh man, a real girl in my room. This is so high technical. Nerr. Must c c calm down. I am g g g get g getting way too excited. Sweat those forming. Can't talk to girls. Must get my laptop from Fanny Pack. Booting up swoon.exe. Activating nerd to is M2 M2K nerd to babe. That works. Nerd to babe interface mod with real time wooing. Oh my goodness, poor Peach. First, first I made her do the thing with the game show, and now this. <clears throat> Welcome to my castle. How do you do? Nerd. What on earth is that? What's going on here? Nerd. I booted this baby up. Whenever it's time to talk to the <laughs> ladies. Sweet. Time for my swoon.exe program to work its magic. I can only imagine it comes with a voice f filter as well, so let's go with that. Oh, where do I start? What is your name? My name? Uh-huh. Ha! <laughs> ha! Yes, you could call me annoyed. Sorry, buddy. I'm not telling my name to a geek like you. <laughs> Whoa. What an ice queen. She's so cool. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh man, she's so hard to get, but that's pretty hot too. Francis revels in new feelings of attraction. Francis's passion leveled up. <laughs> oh man, what do I what do I do next? Smooch. <laughs> this is amazing. Look, hot babe, that's amazing. You're so cute, like a princess straight out of an anime or video game. You can be feisty, but I must say it um, adds to your charm. You think I'm charming? Uh, uh, choices. Am I really cute? Tee hee. You're making me blush. That one, no, I don't know. Mm. How about she leads him on? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You're quite the sweet talker, Francis. Aw, gee, gee, thanks. I bet you say those things to all the girls, don't you? Oh my goodness, this is this is textbook flirting right here. Oh, not at all. You're the first. <laughs> at least, the first one that wasn't AI controlled. You gave a compliment. Francis' ego leveled up. Francis' passion leveled up. What's my next move? Inventory, gift item. Boot, uh, let's see. Vintage, Cyber War, Rare Card Collection. Uh, ha! <laughs> even waffles between them! As a token of my affection, I'd like to give you a special present. Peach received the pink princess signed poster. Oh, um... <laughs> Man, I could be really mean, but I'm not going to. Um... Yeah, that one. Thank you, Francis. Oh, thank you, it's gorgeous. You really like it? I knew a hottie like you would pick up how on... Pick up on how premium this poster is. I got this baby at a totally high technical pink princess anime event. I was going to get a CD, but I freaked when I saw this super rare poster. The voice actor for the princess and the director signed it, as you can see. And I'm quite sure you know, the director changed after season 3 so it's rare. Plus look here, the logo was done in extra premium gold holographic foil. And the paper, oh man, it's UV resistant, so you never have to worry about fading. I could stick it on some backing board for you. How's that sound? Um, yeah, sounds great? What's he talking about? Okay, you got it. Let me just take this guy back for a few minutes then, okay? Peach returned the poster. Francis' satisfaction leveled up. Francis' passion leveled up. Nerr, what's my next move? Think about the future. Wow, we are like so perfect for each other. It's destiny. We should get married. <laughs> this is so good. M married? Oh my goodness. I can lead him on and that's an option. How much do you make? Let's take it slow. <laughs> if you would have me. Would you have me? <laughs> Hey, who's picking these responses for me anyway? I'm not marrying this dork. 
Oh snap, I forgot she's already married. And her husband's in the room, no. I shouldn't even be having this conversation. I came to save P Tippy. where is she? Tippy? Mmm, Tippy, Tippy, um... Ha! <laughs> he has no options for it. There's no Tippy command here? What is she talking about? That's it, I've had it. You bring her out now. Pixels. Oh man, she's using like RPG elements. Peach use Boomer. Boomer exploded. No, my graphics card. <laughs> I mean, back then, what would you have? Like a GTX 320 or like an integrated graphics card? Actually, no, let's see. It would have been like the the uh, the Pentium G5700, I believe. Um, that was the only known copy of the Nerdu Bay patch, and now it's gone forever. Dude, she just blew up your graphics card. Like, you have a hard drive. Nerd, real babes are scary. Peach? Also, I, I'm pretty sure this episode is getting on extremely long territory. Tippy, I was so worried. You, you came to save me? So, you've come to raid my fort and steal Francine? Well, no, I won't let you. But by the way, I came up with the name Francine on my own. Isn't it sweet? At first I thought it was a little weird that you could talk and everything. But the digibutter.nerr forum reaction convinced me you were high technical. You're my only offline friend, Francine. No one will take you away from me. Eek. <laughs> Poor Tippy. Like, she was, she was literally licked by some random nerd, and the next thing she knew, she was in a cage. Like, that's that's not <laughs> the best day for her. Nerd, can't see me. That's because my invisibility powers are totally high technical. Little Francine is hidden, so you can't take her. Feel the wrath of a jil uh, jilted x naught in the season finale of the Grotus Chronicles. Uh, let's switch over to... Aw, oh, man. You know what? No, no, no. It only makes sense that the husband should beat him up. Is there any way for me to see him? Like, oh, there he is. Oh. Ow, I can't see. Okay, that's new. Um, so he's gonna take pictures of me. I assume I just, oh, meow bombs. Bombs, bombs, ba ba bombs, ba bombs are, these are not. Uh, where is he, 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 where, uh, there he is. Wait, got him. Got him. I got hit, but I got him. Jump on that. Where's he gonna? Where'd he come from? Where'd he go? Where'd he come from? I don't mean to press down. Where is he? Let's kind of dash dance here. Where is he? Also, you can't really hear it right now, but the music for this is absolutely amazing. Like, it's really good. I've, I've listened to this while doing homework for like half an hour before and I didn't even realize it because it 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 doesn't really get old actually like it repeats but it does not get old jump on you so it looks like if I jump on them then it, it disarms them oh man that was like that was a cool style right there I didn't realize that he, he had that ow that's not fair you can't do that you can't spawn on top of me oh boy nice 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 where's he going where's he going where's he going there he is, there he is. Ah, oh, I missed him. Let's just get some styles here, or not. Where's he going? Right there, got him. Man, they spawn right on top of me, and that is not fun. Jump on that, good. Oh, again, right on top of me. That's not fair, man. Ooh, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea. Why am I jumping on him? Why am I jumping on him? This doesn't make sense. I could just flame him. Or not, okay. Where is he going? It's a small room, he can't hide forever. Got it. Oh, okay. No. Fire travel slow. Hoo Oh boy. Got him. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna try doing a short hop next time. Nice. Where's he going? Also, how many ticks t uh, hits did this guy take? Hoo Got him. Yeah, like, he has to be almost out of health. 
Ow. Okay, still still nearly at full health, so I'm good. I'm good. In fact, I, I'm tempted to use an item here. Um, yeah, let's just use this for the for the sole reason that I want to. Oh boy, he ate me. What does that do? You've been swallowed. Shake that quickly to escape. Well, it didn't do any damage, so that was like the that was one of the best timing turtle leaves I've ever seen. Where's he going? I'm just gonna stand still. There we go. Good things come to those who wait. We, we killed him in his own house. Oh man. Mercy! And Tippy rises from the ground because that's how boss battles work. Yay! Somehow, him getting beaten into the ground um, triggered that thing to rise. Mario, you guys came to save me. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. I'm so happy. Oh, hey! What, what is that? Oh, cool. I've I just been wondering where we were going to get that thing, but there it is. The pure heart, but how? It's like Tippy's heart just burst with happiness and released a pure heart, or... Mario, I was just so happy when I saw that you'd come to save me. Please, take it. Can we just have Francis kidnap her again so we can just spawn pure hearts? Like, this this mission would be, this uh, quest would be over quick if that happened. But jokes aside, we got a pure heart! And we have a lot more friends to uh, share in that revelry. We've gotten two new pixels in this chapter. Going on three because you remember, there is that one in the beginning of the first level. The fourth pure heart appeared in a dazzling uh, flash of mysterious light. What made it appear? The group was puzzled by this and many other riddles. So, you're not hungry? Or you're not hungry. So you're not hurt? Asked Tippy, full of concern. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Somehow, Tippy seemed different than before. She had started to change. Mario simply shook his head and started the long journey back to Flipside. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays, Saturdays, or periodically ABOs, and I'll see you guys next time for another Super Paper Mario!